Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're talking about depth on our ground strokes this week. And the reason for this topic is I think this is, you know, of the four pillars of our ground strokes, we're talking about consistency, depth, placement, and power. And I think clearly consistency is something on every tennis player's mind around the baseline. We want to make shots. Uh, placement, people are always trying to push themselves to hit the sideline, hit the baseline, have great placement. And power goes without saying that everybody, I think, is always trying to push the limits of how hard they can hit the ball. And lost in the shuffle a little bit is depth. And yet I think if you guys were to talk to a, a pro out on tour, just a high level player around the club, is it a ball that, that makes them run around the court, the one that they fear the most? Absolutely not. Most players that are really, really solid kind of kind of like the flow of having to move into shots. Is it handling pace? Definitely not. Even, even a pusher that you see around the club, most of those guys love to handle pace. It's the deep ball towards the back third of the tennis court that gives even the highest level player the biggest problems. And I, I always come back to that match between Vavrenka and Djokovic in the final of the French Open a year and a half ago, it seemed like every return of serve that Vavrenka hit was up the middle of the court, but within two feet of the baseline, and it completely neutralized Djokovic. Okay, so, you know, what we're looking at with depth in terms of, of being able to produce better depth of shot is two things. One is net clearance. I very commonly see players around my club that aren't getting enough depth kind of okay with the idea of clearing the net by only two or three feet. And I think you guys need to start bumping up, you know, that visual that you have of how high the ball should be. Definitely double the height of the net is kind of the minimum that we're talking about if we want to see the ball travel into the back third of the tennis court. Racket speed is also really key. You know, you think about getting height. Mark, go ahead and feed me a ball. If I get height without racket speed, I'm landing the ball in the service box. And even if I spin that shot, let's say I added a ton of top spin to the same type of ball, you know, most people are thinking, well, I hit a lot of top spin, Brady. What's wrong with that? The, the lack of depth on that shot is bringing even a 3-0, 3-5 level player forward. And that is really what we're trying to avoid. That's why depth is so key. We want to keep the opponent back. And more than that, we want to push them farther back than where they start. So doubling the height of the net, adding racket speed, really targeting a spot in the court that's in, within the back third of the court, okay? So I'm, I'm always thinking that depth starts halfway between the service line and the baseline, somewhere in this zone. And not that you guys need to go ahead and start trying to aim all the way to the baseline, but start with this invisible line halfway between the service line and the baseline and see if you can start consistently getting over that invisible line. I think you guys will find that you really feel solid on your ground strokes and then the result is that you're pushing that opponent back and getting you know, weak responses that you're able to step up on. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of these ground strokes. Working on depth, racket speed, and height. Get that ball to the back of the court. Pretty good right there. All right, now that's a great example because I have people tell me all the time, well, Brady, I'm working on depth and I just sailed the ball 15 feet long. So then their response to that is back to less height and less racket speed. And now we're bringing the opponent in again. So the key there is just add more topspin. If I'm getting good net clearance, getting the ball to the back of the court and it's going out, all right, I'm just gonna add a little more topspin and get that ball to drop down, okay? So do not let depth get lost in the shuffle of the four pillars of, of good ground stroke hitting. Put it at the forefront of your practices over the next couple weeks and start to get that ball driving deep into the back third of the court. I think you guys will love the results. 
All right, so that's all I got for you today. Hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so. As well as check down below me in the description of this video, you'll find the link to three free courses Mark and I have put together. Those are great as well. I think you'll like those a lot. All right, so until next time, be well. We'll see you soon.